So let's have a look how we can make dynamic charts in practice. And we will first discuss the easiest way, pivot charts. Throughout this section, we'll be using dynamic charts empty file. So please download it from additional resources and open it. And here in the sheet pivot regular, we will have data that we will need to insert in the pivot charts. They're already put in the right form. In the first column, we've got year, business units, and in J sales. So let's insert pivot charts. So we first have to select the area. Then we go to insert. And here we'll have pivot charts. We can pick the first option. He will ask you where he should put the pivot chart. So I can put it, for example, in this chart, but we will actually choose the first option. So new worksheet. Press OK. And here we've got the area of the pivot chart. We want to have years in the axis, sales as values. And then business units will be different columns. So we put them in legend. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Close the pivot chart field. And as you can see, we already have a nice chart. Now, as you can see, he has here filters. We can either keep them or we can remove them. I will remove them. So you have to hover over the filter and then press right click with the mouse. And here you will have all the available options. You can either hide only this element or all elements, and we're gonna hide all. Now we can also move the legends to the bottom. Another thing we can do is to remove the axis. So we select it, delete, the same we do with grid lines. We can add data labels. And we have a pretty nice chart. We can also bold the data labels and the legend. As always, remove the outline. So go to outline and then no outline. So as you can see, we have created a set chart very similar to what we used to have. Now we can also get rid of the background. So you have to press Control A to select all the area, go to view and unselect grid lines. To make this chart dynamic, we have to insert slices. So you have to press the chart and go to pivot chart analysis. And here we'll find insert slicers. We'll do it by years and business units. Let's make the years a little bit smaller by having three in one row. And maybe let's change the color. We'll adjust the size of the slicer. The other one will be next to it. Again, we can adjust the size of the slicer. And we've got already the chart. Now, if you want to only concentrate on a specific business unit, it's enough to press the business units you want to concentrate on. So I have pressed the dentist and we've got data only for the dentist. The same goes for GP doctors, others, etc. In the same manner, I can only look at the years. So year three, year two, year one. Obviously, I can select more than one years. To do that, I would have to press control and keep it pressed till I finish the selection. So for example, I have now control pressed and I have selected year one, year two and year five. As you can see, the data have adjusted to represent these three years. In the same manner, we can play with the business units. So that's in short, as you can see, it's pretty easy to use. And the effect of dynamic data is achieved very easily with little effort on your side. So I would now recommend that you repeat the things I have shown you here using the data in the dynamic chart empty file. Once you are done, move to the next lecture where we will have a look how to achieve similar effect using VLOOKUP function.